Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I wanted to show you guys Motion Blue. This is an attract mode build from David Marty, and I'll leave a link to his video down below to his YouTube page. In his video, there is a link to download this. It's a mega link. This will fit on a 16 gigabyte and up card. You can expand the file system so you can put this on a 128 gigabyte card if you'd like to. This contains no artwork, no ROMs, no BIOSes but it's so easy to set up. What he's done is unified everything here. All your snaps, artwork, and ROMs will match Hyperspin XMLs. So if you've ever messed with Hyperspin, you can transfer everything over and it should work like that. I'm not a big fan of the look, but we can always change that. I'm just gonna click Tab on my keyboard, Displays, and I'm going to go to the display menu options and I'm just going to change this to RoboSpan. Make sure my layout options are how I want them. I like the moon cab, retro background. And there you have it. This has every emulator you will ever want. And one of the coolest things about this is you can hide emulators you don't use. So I don't use Cody and I've actually already hit it here. Cody is present within this build and you can have it on the menu here. Um, Dreamcast. I don't play Dreamcast on my Raspberry Pi 3 because it's slow. So what I'm going to do is press tab. I'm going to go to displays and instead of deleting the display, we can hide it. So I need to find Dreamcast right here. Show in cycle and I don't want to show it in menu. So I click no on both of those and Dreamcast should now be gone. Pretty cool little feature. It's still there in the background so you can always turn it back on if you ever want to add ROMs to that directory. But this way we don't have to delete it. Now another cool thing is if I go over we have the motion blue theme for everything. I'm not a big fan of it. You can always change it if you'd like to. I'm going to go to a directory that I do not have any games installed right now, and that'll be Game Gear. As you can see, there's nothing here. I'm on my PC right now, and I am going to the Game Gear directory, and I'm going to add a few ROMs. They will automatically show up. We do not have to scrape or generate a ROMs list anymore with this, which is a big bonus. So I'll just add a few games here. I'm going to add the wheel art or the corresponding wheel art to the games that I just added. And I'm also going to add the snaps. Now all of my stuff matches. This is all hyperspin based stuff here. And I just need to double check. I put my wheels in there. If I press over and then go back, we're here. We don't have to generate a ROMs list. Very awesome. This is the smoothest build of a track mode that I have ever used. I am amazed by how well it works. Everything's already here. Link is in the description to his video. Go check it out. He, when you download this, there is a long PDF. Read through it. He is very thorough. Everything you need to know is in that PDF. Every question I had was answered and I had no trouble setting this up. Very easy to do. You flash it to an SD card just like you would a regular image and go from there. I really appreciate you guys watching and I wanted to give a big shout out to David Marty for making this. This is amazing. This is going to change the game. You're going to have to do a little bit of work, but not much. It's totally worth it in the end to say, hey, I didn't just download an image with ROMs. I built this. You can change the way everything looks if you'd like to. Cody is also present. Like I mentioned before, I don't use it, so I already hit it. But just to show you here, a lot of people love Cody in their builds. Go to Cody, and I'm going to turn it on. Turn it on. You'll just need to refresh the page by clicking over or D on your keyboard again. And here's Cody. If we enter this, you can launch Cody if you'd like to. I don't mess with it. Not on my Raspberry Pi anyway, but 
Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could hit that like button and subscribe. Links are in the description to David Marty's YouTube page. Well worth a try, guys. This is great. Like always, thanks for watching.